Hello everybody, this is Tony over at the Bellevue Big Picture School and in this video we're going to try to walk through um, how to look at the standards based gradebook so that you can have a better idea on how to uh, measure student progress as we go through the school year. This is the home screen that you land on when you log into Synergy and at the top you should see your child's information or your information if you are a student. You will see messages that are coming up that are uh, current from classes. You should also see a recent history of activity that's coming up in the gradebook from certain classes or teachers. And to get started with the gradebook we're going to move down to the gradebook tab on the left hand side. Once in the gradebook tab for this student, we are going to take a look at two classes. We're going to take a look at the American Literature and Composition class, and we're going to take a look at the Physics of the Universe class. But uh, as long as we're in this page, there are a couple pieces of information that you can find out here. One is uh, the teachers of those classes and the current grades that uh, students are earning in those classes. And then the other thing, piece of information that will be useful, is that you can see if there are any missing assignments that are associated with any of the classes. So the American Literature and Composition class has one missing assignment. These other classes don't have any missing assignments at this time. One important note about missing assignments in Synergy. The number of missing assignments in Synergy reflects only the assignments that have been graded by the teacher and scores have been entered into the gradebook. They don't reflect the missing assignments that haven't been turned in in Microsoft Teams by students. So let's look at the American Literature and Composition class per first by clicking on the title of the class. When we click into the title of the class, it drops us into an overview of that class. In the center on the bottom, it shows us a timeline of assignments and entries into the gradebook. So uh, this goes back by week. So there's three items in this class going back over the last uh, few weeks. At the top part of this uh, section right here, you'll find information about the teacher, including contact, the class policies, grading, and a description of the class, as well as the current grade, number of missing assignments, and upcoming assignments if teachers add that information to the gradebook ahead of time. In the center here, by the search bar, you have the possibility of showing only the missing assignments or only upcoming assignments if that's what you want to look at. Next we're going to move into some different views. So up here in the upper right hand part of the screen you can see that we're in the course content view because that is the one that is in black print. We're going to move next to the standards view uh, to take a look at uh, progress on different standards. Okay, so now you can see that we are in the standards view because that is the one in, that is in black print and it's not a link which would be blue print. And in standards view, uh, you see a list of all of the standards that have been taught or learned in the course. Uh, and this is important because this is where students' grades come from. The standards are listed here on the left hand side. And over on the right hand side, there is a uh, performance indicator showing how the students scored uh, or showed learning on that standard. Now these are overall performance on the standards. And if you want to dig a little deeper into how a student performed or showed learning on individual assignments within the standard, you click on this uh, little expand all within these parentheses and once the standards are expanded now you can see the standard 
at the top of the section, and then the assignments, which are associated with that standard underneath them. So that missing assignment that we saw earlier in the home screen, this is that assignment that is missing, and we see the mark over here that indicates that it's missing. For this second standard, we see the assignment that's associated with it. It's Generation Project Socratic Seminar. We see the score of three for the learning that was showed. And over on the right-hand side, we get a visual representation of uh, that score. As the year progresses, the list of standards that are learned in classes will get longer and you'll be able to see performance on all of those standards once teachers enter scores for those. And finally, for this language arts class, we're going to move over to the assignment view. And in this view, there are a couple things that would be useful. Number one, you'll be able to see all of the assignments that were assigned in the class. Uh, the blue names of the assignments are clickable so that you can see even more detail if you would like to dig deeper. There is the possibility of seeing all of the standards that are associated with that assignment. And finally, over in the notes section, this is another place where you can see whether or not the assignment is missing and needs to be completed. And the final thing that I wanted to make you aware of in this video uh, we will jump over into the Physics of the Universe gradebook and jump over to the Standards view. And what I wanted to point out in this view was the idea that uh, multiple assignments will be eventually attached to, uh, to standards. So these two assignments are attached to this standard and you will be able to see the uh, marks or the scores for each of those assignments with that standard and then you will be able to see the overall score for that standard. It's important to probably uh, notice over here in the notes section on this view um, the grade for the Unit 1 Big Bang Atomic check-in quiz was not for grading, so that would be a formative assessment, uh, which is what we use at Big Picture School, to um, measure progress along the way to final uh, showing of learning. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful um, in navigating and knowing what you're looking at in the standards-based gradebook. For more resources, please see our website and our YouTube channel for more videos.